I am here with Tobias Herrera. Tobias, how does it feel to close out the year with such a bang or such a hell though, I should say? <sighs> yeah, I feel <coughs> uh, very good, very emotional right now because, yeah, you know, coming from a loss, uh, I have many, like, I had a winning streak before I got into the cage wars, and then I've been like two and two, I think, and so this means a lot to me. You also had a big outpour of love and support after your last loss. Did that motivate you to like push tonight and give such a statement finish? Uh, mostly it was <coughs> actually like the people I have around me. Uh, yeah, that motivated me a lot. And what about the fact that this fight was regarded as the people's main event? Did that excite you even more for that fight? Definitely. You know, when I see s things like that and like people want to see me fight and mm -hmm. that excites me a lot, yes. And what is the game plan against someone who at times can be quite reckless like yourself? Although tonight you seem to both be quite more calculated, I would say. Yeah, like something I learned with on the way is like I can't complicate things too much with game plans and because like my last fight I complicated a lot of things I was like maybe I should do this or this because when I'm fighting this guy or but when I just go out and l relax and do my my thing you know mm -hmm. what I'm good at that's that's when I'm at my best so you were overthinking yeah. things a lot before? Yeah, this time I was like, just relax, do, like, don't put so much pressure on yourself, just go out there and fight. If he's better than you, it's okay, because I can take a loss. But when I lose because of myself, when I feel I can do better, that's hard. So from, from now on, I'm just going to stay focused, just doing my best, and just relax, just fight this guy, because a fight is not that bad you know, get beat up a little bit, things like that. It's not that bad. Just do your best. That's the only thing you can do. And your walkout's always memorable. And once again tonight, the purge, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Who thought of that? Uh, you know, I just try to bring some more intensity to the fight. And now, like, now everybody's expecting it. So, and when I get, like, people think it's it's nice so I really enjoy doing it you know it's the pressure is on you gotta be creative <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true but it's nice I yeah I like it I love being here in cage wars I feel you're so <sighs> yeah I feel so so good in the right now nice. so what about 2023 what are you expecting do you, is there anyone you would like to fight how busy do you want to be uh, I have like, I had five fights on my contract, so now it's four, and uh, I want to try to do them as quick as possible, uh, but it's not all up to me, I just like, get me anyone, y it's your, your call, just tell me when and where and I will be there, and also I don't like, think too much about consequences of a fight, you know, if I win, maybe this, or if I lose, maybe this. Now I just one fight at a time. Well, whoever it is, I will show up. I will do my best, and we'll see what happens, you know. Well, congratulations. It's always so entertaining to watch you fight, and Happy New Year. Thank you very much, and Happy New Year.